We have a question here from Anonymous. It's pretty long, but I'm going to summarize it. Uh, Anonymous is a woman. She says she's 32 years old, and the man that she's interested in is younger than her by four years. He's ready to settle down, but due to cultural background differences, his parents, who are pastors, don't approve of her due to the age difference. It's frustrating. They love each other, but also want the parents' blessings. They also mentioned that they have reconnected after trying to break up multiple occasions. They always find their way together. Um, we get questions like these a lot, but to Anonymous, what I want to say to you is, Kind of looking at this one, I'd say the ball is in his court. I mean, at the end of the day, he's ready to settle down. He got to make a decision. He's going to be the one, I assume, to ask you to marry him. Um, so I'm not going to get into, we've answered this question before, about whether you should defy your parents or, or listen to what they got to say and things like that. I'm not getting involved in that. I'm not going to put my advice on that topic. He's not the one that's asking the question. You are. But I'm going to say at the end of the day, he's going to have to make a decision, whatever he decides to do about marrying you. Now, y'all broken up different times, reconnected. If, any, if I have any concern, it's just about the decisiveness here, because what's the point of dating if you're not getting married? And if he knows he can't marry you because he's going to abide by his parents' wishes, then why is he with you? But if he's also decided, no, I'm going to be with you anyway, then why hasn't he already done what he needs to do? So that's kind of my question to your question. But really, it's going to come down to him. All I can say to you as advice is stay in the face of God, be in prayer and listen, and then make a decision for yourself because at the end of the day, you are also in charge of your own life. You don't got to wait around for someone else to make a decision about you. I don't have time to go into detail on all things I could say and advise you on, but stay in the face of God, get in the word, have spiritual guidance of your own, spiritual parents, parents who can speak into your life and know you in this situation, have oversight over this relationship to give you some real spiritual guidance. If you do that and have those boundaries around you, then you're likely to go in the right direction, whichever way that may be. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Thanks for the question.